Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully, and today we are going to make a YouTube thumbnail using Canva. We're going to start by going over to Canva. So normally you would start on your homepage, and this is what it's going to look like. And all you have to do is, is go to, so I typed in YouTube, YouTube, and then you're going to get all kinds of things so youtube icon youtube thumbnail youtube outro but i need youtube thumbnail and what a youtube thumbnail is is this picture that makes it makes somebody want to click on your video okay so my first video is going to be about a year of videos and it doesn't matter what you're making your video about. I just want to do a search for this. So this is top videos, YouTube employees. So people, 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 there's a lot of people. There's a lady. Ooh, there's a, a thing. This is kind of, I need to have making a video a year, a day. Ooh, that's why. Dwight, so see, this is how you can start to narrow down how we make a video in one day, how to make an epic video in one day, creating a YouTube video from start to finish. So a lot of people without making videos, a person's face. Okay, I am going to, so I'm going to do two things. I'm going to see if I can find a person I like. And then I'm going to, uh, if I can't, then I'm going to use the YouTube thing. I want to go into here, and if you're on the pro account, you can get all these videos. So here is, oh, I look, kind of love this lady. Okay, so if we need a person, they might as well get used to it not being me. Okay, and then... So I could do a couple things, right? I could make this background. I could do this the easy way. So if I said copy, oops. This is a this is a flip. So this is a uh, old designer trick, right? So if I just do that, I now have a totally clear background because I know for sure that will match perfectly, right? If I move her over a little bit, I could even do this, right? So that's a designer trick if I wanted to do that. But there's also something else I wanna try first because I'd love more contrast there. And uh, Canva has what's called a background remover where they will take the background away. All I did was go to effects and hit background remover. And let's see what happens. And let's go back to looking at our things. So it's kind of a, these people are on top. They kind of have a background image that's blurry. She has kind of a thing. This is on red for YouTube, right? Okay, so let's go over to here. Okay, we got our girl with no background image. So we're gonna do that. So she has red on, right? Like if I was gonna go for the red, she has red on, so I don't need to have her be on red. So now I want to do background. I want to get a good background. Mine tend to have background boards. And these are all free images if you're using them. There we go. I just want a little texture. Okay, and then right click, send it back. All right, so I have this lady on here. Now I need some text, a video, uh, oops, darn it. We got to add a headline, a video a day for a year, question mark. So question marks are good. Let's see. Oh, that fit right in there. Okay, I like my line height to be a little bit shallower. I don't like when my lines are very far apart. And then I want to get YouTube. So you, 
tube play button transparent everybody has these free clip art library free youtube play button transparent copy save image as desktop see how all of them have that youtube button in them this guy has it hiding so i had to get this so now we're going to go to uploads upload media it's going to be on my desktop because that's where everything goes Okay, it accidentally went in there, but if I just click on this. Video a day for a year. Well, it's got that little border around it, but let's see if we can. Oh, duh. Effects, background remover. But is it just going to make it white? It did not. This is wicked cool. Okay. So, let's see how that would look compared to these guys. I'm, I'm okay with this. I think we should try it. Now, what you need to know is, the other cool thing is this is going to, so I'm going to rename this. Sorry, I have to file, save. And I have to pull this out uh, to be able to see the name. A video a day for a year right um so i would probably put thumbnail because i'm going to make other things with this but i would do thumbnail and then say i um i put this up and it didn't do very well and i wanted to make a change and i thought oh i'll change this background image well you can just hit duplicate and then go to your photos background and then say we wanted to put it on yellow right so flip nope and then we would try it with the yellow background right click send the back and see if that worked better so that's the cool thing about this. If you want to make, okay, we could even do this. Does it make a difference if this is red, right? Does that make a difference? How about if we have this, if we do a copy of this, paste it, make it an outline, make the outline, white where's white does doing an outline make it easier to read do they like it better does it and then so then you can do this and try it okay so i've shown you a ton of little designer tricks that i know but if you want to kind of get started um these are pinterest pins but you could use the you know you could just copy and paste them my friend Carly makes these. I'll put a link to this in the description below. It's so the total cost of this to be transparent. So if you want all those pictures in Canva, it's going to be about $12 a month. Um, and if you want the template kit, I think it's $15 a month. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, you get those free. How fun. Yeah. So you get that starter kit free, but she does have a subscription, and I think it's like $15. Anyways, hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.